Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to format a USB stick. Formatting, remember, will delete everything that you guys have in your USB stick. So, let's just get down to this. Right now, on your Mac, you guys might see this, and that's your USB drive once you plug it in. If you don't see that, don't worry about it. We're going to fix that right now. Just go into Disk Utility. Disk Utility looks like this. If you guys don't see it down there, don't worry about it. Just go to your Spotlight Search, which is in your top right-hand corner. Click right there. And we're gonna look for disk utility. So here's my disk utility. So I'm gonna open it up. Once I open it up, I should see this stuff right here on the left hand corner. Okay, so you guys might not see it right away like this. You might see it just like this, which is your internal and your external. So here's my external. It doesn't really matter what brand you guys have, it's all the same for all USB sticks. So if I expand this out, I can see my partition. All right, so don't worry about it. You guys can just format the top part. If you guys are having problems formatting for some reason, format this bottom part, okay? But most of you are just gonna do fine. This will work right away. All right, so from here, let me just make this window smaller, smaller and bigger at the same time. And then I can zoom in so you guys can see it a little bit better. So right there, all right. So to format this, we just have to click on erase. So that's right here, okay, erase. Again, this will delete all the content inside your USB stick. So, depends what you guys wanna use your USB stick for. Most of you will want to use it for both Mac and PC. So that means you guys have to pick XFAT. So that's right here, we're gonna pick that option and we're just gonna type in any name that you guys want. You guys can name it Mac PC. There you go. And then you're practically done. You guys can just click on erase. So I'm gonna do that anyways, just to show you. And right now it's gonna be compatible with Mac and PC. It's gonna be able to take large files without any problems. And that way you guys can transfer stuff from your Mac to your PC and so on. So again, your Windows, Mac, PC will be able to read it for both, all right? So if I zoom out, I should be able to see it right here on my desktop, okay? So that's how I named it, it's all good. However, okay, some of you may have problems with this type of formatting. Don't worry about it. If you're having problems, erase it again. And this time, instead of just picking, hold on, let me just pick XFAT again. And instead of picking this option, you guys are gonna pick this secondary option, okay? I've seen with older PCs, you have to format it this way. Okay, and even newer ones, I've seen that you have to format it this way. So this will work both Mac and PC again. So don't worry about it. You guys can format it, just press erase and you're done. So now that I showed you how to do that, let me just get a little bit more in depth. So if you guys want this to only work with Mac, you guys can pick journaled. I'm gonna switch it back here. And journaled is basically just for Mac. So if you plug this into a PC, it's not gonna work there. However, the pros about that is that no viruses, okay? And anyways, even if viruses get inside your USB stick, they will not transfer to your Mac anyways because they're just PC viruses. So even if you guys do format as XFAT, wouldn't really worry about it. But then again, you guys may just be working with Macs. So journal is the way to go. Just pick this option and erase. And that's how you guys format it just for Mac. Now, let's say you guys want part of it to be just for Mac and part of it to be with Mac and PC. Well, we can do that. So let's format it first just for Mac. All right, so we're gonna press erase. Now that we have formatted just for Mac, we're gonna make it both compatible with Mac and PC plus a partition just for Mac. So. This will make sense once I show you guys this. So right here, you guys see partition. Let's just click there. And here is our USB stick. So all we have to do is partition it. So we can click on the plus sign. That means we're dividing our USB stick into two. Okay, and I can make it, let's say, I can make this partition, let's say around there. I can name it, let's make, name this PC and Mac. So I know this partition will be for that. 
Let me just switch it over. There we go. So this, I'm just formatting so it's compatible with Mac and PC. And this partition here that I just clicked on right now, I'm just going to name it Mac because all the documents here will not be able to be read by a PC. However, documents that I put in this partition will be able to be read by both Mac and PC. Now, some of you may want to do that, others no, but I wanted to show you this option because it's pretty cool. So if I press apply partition, I wanna show you what happens exactly with that USB stick. You're dividing that USB stick into two parts. That means that stuff that maybe is just transferring between both Mac and PC, there's stuff that might go wrong in there, for example, maybe there's a virus and it corrupts the thing, but your other partition might actually still be safe. And a lot of the times we can even format that one specific partition with keeping the other partition safe without anything happening to it. Because as you know, every time you erase, you format, you're deleting everything from within that USB stick. It's the same thing with external hard drives, by the way, or SD cards by that matter. So right now it's doing the partition. It does depend on the speed of your actual USB stick, how long this actually takes. It could be really fast or really slow. Right now this USB stick's kind of old, so that's why it's taking quite a bit. But there we go. And I want to show you what this means. So see right here on my desktop, before we only had this, now we have this. That's because we broke up our USB stick into two. So it's kind of like telling our Mac, oh, now I have two USB sticks plugged in. So I can open this one up. I can open this one up. If I want to copy and paste any stuff here, I can go ahead or I can drag it. So I can drag this here, I can drag this here, and I can drag this here. So again, the partition that I made that's only for Mac and PC, then that's going to be able to be read by a Windows computer. But the part that I just made it for Mac, which is journaled, that's only for Macs. Okay, so you don't need to do that, but I want to show you that option just in case you guys want to keep some stuff maybe hidden or maybe some stuff just separate and you can make as many partitions as you want and I wouldn't make too many <laughs> because your space might get smaller and smaller and to make them let me just go through them a little bit more so I'm gonna cancel this because I'm copying them over and cancel that cancel that cancel that just because I want to show you guys again the partitioning just in case I went a little bit too fast so once I click on partition Okay, I can click on this or click on this and I can add another one, for example, and just to add more gigs into one or the other, I can move this around. I would not type in numbers because right here you guys can put actually type in um, what the size is exactly that you want, but don't do it that way. I've seen a lot of mistakes happen there because the math is a little bit off. So it's better just to move this around and do it from there. Okay, so if you guys want to partition your USB stick after you have formatted it. I wouldn't because it's risky if you guys have, you know, stuff in it already. Anyways, I would never recommend formatting part of the partition without making a backup first because you guys can do that, but it's risky, so don't do it. Anyways, that's how you guys make partitions. That's how you guys can make stuff compatible with Mac and PC. And that's how you guys can copy stuff onto those things that you guys just made. Hopefully this helped you out. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.